Krishna from Chennai to talk about his unique product for the empowerment of people with disabilities. Hi. Um, so yeah, it's been a sight of a nervous and nerve-wracking day for me. I am Rishi. I am one of the inclusion fellows and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Symbionic. So, first of all, I just wanted to say I'm super grateful and thankful to be here in the stage. Like, and I was super nervous till I was there, but the second I came here, I realized that I'm amongst friends. So I didn't have to be nervous. <laughs> so, at the age of 24, this was four years ago, I was still figuring out what to do in life. I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was working with a nonprofit in an education sector. I was pursuing my passion in photography. And I was also trying to travel a lot, as much as I can. So these were all my passions. And uh, I had plans. I had some plans for the future. Like I, I, I knew somewhere I wanted to go. But you know, as they say, the universe laughs when you make a plan. So that's what happened to me. I was able-bodied till then. September 15, 2018, I was going to Pondicherry on a bus, government bus. I was sitting in the window seat. The bus was going super fast as any Pondicherry bus goes. And they were trying to race against time. I don't know why. The bus went and crashed with another vehicle. And in the impact, my hand got crushed. And it all happened in a matter of seconds. I didn't know what was happening. And when I woke up, I did not have a right arm. So when you live 24 years, like fully able-bodied, having fun, riding bikes, and suddenly you wake up without an arm, it's kind of weird. I felt lighter, by the way, yeah. So, but still. <laughs> Um, it, didn't, uh, it didn't immediately strike to me how different my entire life was going to be. The rest of my life was changed. And it took me at least a month to figure out how it would affect every single second of my life. Like, even doing small things, like, um, so, you know, you guys have, so anyone who's wearing shoes, if you can untie your shoe and just uh, tie it back with one hand, you know how difficult it is. And these are things that we don't even think about in our daily life. And uh, even I did not. And when I actually faced that myself, I realized that, OK, this is, um, I can't do things like I love anymore. I can't ride a bike. I can't take photographs or travel independently. And all of this uh, put me at a very dark place. So I did what everyone else does, went to Google, saw Bionic Arms, because I grew up watching anime and like, you know, sci-fi movies. And I thought there would be technologies available in the world that would kind of, you know, just put up a bionic arm and control it and you're there. But apparently it was not so. In India, 99% of ampute, upper limb amputees don't, uh, they, they don't even know there's a, there are products available. And for me, when I was looking for a bionic or a robotic arm or any, any solution, I could not find anything. So this is the story of a million plus upper limb amputees just in India. And uh, I started talking to my community. I talked to many amputees who had lost their limb or were born without limbs. And it kind of gave me a sense of belonging. OK. At first, I felt I'm the only person in the world who, who doesn't have a limb. Then when I started talking to people, I realized, no, it's not just me have people, like there are people around. But then what was painful was that they were suffering the same way I was. They did not have a solution. They were removed from their jobs. Or they were like sitting at home. They had immense potential. And just talking to them for 10 seconds, you know how awesome each one of them are. So I thought, why can't we do something about it? And the first thing was, what the heck can I do? 
I, I, I come from a visual communication background. I set out to be a social worker and a filmmaker. I can't go and build a bionic arm, right? But then, why not? So I went and built Symbionic single-handedly. OK, <laughs> kidding. It can't be done <laughs> by myself. So I had a best friend. I have a best friend, Niranjan Kumar. He's, uh, he and I studied together from ninth. And uh, I asked him, hey, man, you know, could we 3D print something? Because the bionics of the world are super costly. I, even if I sell all my body parts, I can't afford it. <laughs> I, so I went there, and uh, we found a lot of open source available materials. We read a lot. We spoke to a lot of people. And some people, some angels from my past life, kind of reached out and said, hey, you guys are doing something cool. Would you like to talk to these incubators that we work with? And I said, why not? So here I am, 24-year-old, two, just two friends, set out to make one hand, one artificial limb that could kind of help me go back to work, do things. Never started this to build a company or a you know, private limited, whatever. But this kind of took shape in such a way because it was not just me. There's a million people who need this. And the million people who don't have any solution available. And there is immense advancement in technology. There's AI. There's so much of uh, like accessibility in your phones. Then the question comes to me is, why is prosthetics still 200 years back? It's Literally 200 years back. Sockets have not improved. Sockets are this part which goes into the hand. It's not improved. The hands are just plastic parts that are like, you know, built to just fill, fill your shirts. You cannot do anything with it. You cannot go to work. You cannot, um, there's just a liability, the a weight that you carry. And we were not OK with it. And we wanted to change this. We started Symbionic. So this is the way we started Symbionic. We, we, but it, was, it, it could not be done with just two people. We started, for, we started Symbionic to build one single arm. Now we are on our way to build a million arms. Which... Thank you. So let me just invite my co-founder, Niranjan. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this is the Titan arm. Uh, this is something that Rishi and I built for the last four years. It took us. <laughs> there are 25 iterations to build this. And uh, can I have the video playing? iterations. I could also call it 25 failures to come yeah. to this one. And I really don't want to show you the first one. <laughs> it was very bad. <laughs> there was just a bias hanging out and we went to a like, you know, university and showed it and just, it was mind-blowing that they accepted us. I don't know why they accepted us. <laughs> and uh, now we have a very solid team. We have 15 people. It's not just us two. We have 15 people who work day and night to bring this product to the world. And we want to do it. We want to launch this. 
We want to bring this to a million people as soon as possible. And it's just one thing that we want to do. This one thing is when you lose a limb and when you get, when you know that you, you, you're going to live with a disability like this for the rest of your life, you should not feel despair. You, you, I don't, so that was the only thing that had come to my mind was disability like this doesn't have to be end of your life. And if, you can, if they can just think that, if they can just come to that conclusion, if they lose a rim, if anyone loses their rim and they can say, okay, there's the, the symbionic, there are solutions available. We can just put a bionic arm and go on with our life. And for that to happen, we needed to make a product so cool that even able-bodied are jealous of it. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here.